from 1915house.com. This is totally spur of the moment. <laughs> I have to prime this piece of furniture and I have 15 minutes before I have to leave to go get my kids from school. And I was just going to I was just going to go ahead and prime it. But then I figured I keep hearing about how time is such a huge issue with people. And so let's see how much we can get done in 15 minutes. I know it's really weird. I've got, I'm in my black dining room and I'm, I'm painting this, priming it on my dining room table. I've got a drop cloth down. I just opened my primer and I figured why not go live? <laughs> you will be surprised if you can see behind me the book case behind me. We brought that down, um, I don't know, a few weeks ago. And we brought it down and I realized it needed a coat of paint and so I repainted that in 20 minutes before we left the house. So I know that time is huge. It's a huge um, hindrance to us getting stuff done. So I figured I'm going to pop on here. And let's see if we can't get this piece primed before I have to leave to go get the kids from school. <laughs> this piece, um, I have to tell you, when we got it, and I'll tell you more about it. This is going to be featured on an upcoming post here pretty soon. Um, I found this piece on the curb with a free sign. <laughs> I saw, and actually it's so funny because um, I was driving with my dad and the guy that was putting it on the curb hadn't even put the free sign on it yet. And we pulled over and <laughs> I hopped out of the truck and I looked at the guy and I said, Are you, is that a free sign? Are you giving that away? <laughs> and he laughed and said yes. And when we got this table, it's a beautiful, I don't know if you can see it, it's a beautiful spindle leg table. This thing was rickety, rickety, rickety. It was, um, I mean, literally when we, of course the top is laying on the table right now, but we put our hands on the top and did this and it just shimmied. It was very rickety, which is why he was, part of why he was throwing it away. He explained to me that they had stripped it and um, we're going to, I don't know if they were gonna refinish it or paint it, but um, it boiled down to the fact that they just kind of they just kind of gave up on it. They didn't feel like dealing with it. So I gladly took it off his hands. So we picked this up off the curb, and the top was in really rough shape. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can see it okay. The top was in really rough shape, and um, I actually I painted that right away. But I painted it with um, oh I think it was. Was it milk paint? Maybe it was just primer. Whatever I did, it didn't hold up well. Um, I, if it was milk paint, it didn't hold up just because I didn't seal it, I didn't wax it, um, and primer, well, primer's not intended to hold up by itself, right? All right, I'm gonna move over to the other side here. Can you still see okay? <laughs> you see if we can get this primed before I have to leave to get the kids to school. Oh, I'm gonna do it left-handed, this could be interesting. So I keep hearing from people that time is an issue and I totally get it. So this is where we have to get creative. I'm going to turn this. We as moms, as DIYers, we just have to get creative because sometimes life only gives you 15 minute slots at a time. So that's when we grab a paintbrush and our primer or our paint and we see how much we can get done in 15 minutes. Now, these legs, because they're spindle legs, they're probably going to take a little more time. So I might not be able to get this whole thing done in 15 minutes. But what I can't get done in 15 minutes, it will leave me very little to get done later. So it'll be great. I'm going to go ahead and do this underside. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do this part. There's a lip that runs around the edge of this. And so I don't know that I'm going to go ahead and do that part, but I'm going to prime this. Um, and this wood is really dry. 
is really soaking up the primer. So we'll see how this holds up. I might have to do a second coat of primer. We'll see. And then I always tend to prime with a brush. I don't know why. Unless I have a bunch of pieces. If I had a bunch of big pieces, then I would set up my Home Right Spray Shelter and load up my sprayer with the primer. Oh, sorry, Linda, I can't see. Let me see. Linda says, I have a similar piece with decorative iron brackets. Ooh, I bet that's pretty. Did someone paint your piece or is it in beautiful condition? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, and if this had been, if this had been in great shape, I probably would have left it. I wouldn't be painting it. But the wood is in really rough shape. And again, I am not a perfectionist. So this might bother some of you that are perfectionists. My job is to get it done to the best of my ability and as fast as I can because hashtag life. <laughs> Go around the edges here. And whatever I don't get done in, this, in these few minutes before I have to go get the kids from school, well, that's just 15 minutes less of work I have to do later, right? I'm using my favorite Purdy brush. This is the, what is it? You probably can't see that very well. The XL Cub. This is great for small projects. And honestly, okay, if in a perfect world where brushes didn't cost a fortune, I would love to try um, the zebra brushes or some of those round brushes. They're supposed to be great for detail work. I would love to try those. But for now, because we make do with what we have, I'm just gonna use this and it's working fine. Although I hear that these amazing brushes make a difference and I'm sure they do. Now spindles. When it comes time for painting, the paint sprayer, the home right sprayer I have will be fantastic for this because there'll be no detail work in the spindles. The sprayer does such a good job getting into all the nicks and crannies. And I'm sorry if I'm missing comments. I'll pause here in a minute and see what I'm missing. I'm just running my brush horizontal to go with the spindles and get inside those little details. And I'll do the same thing up and down here. So for a piece that I literally picked up off the curb, <laughs> I think you can't go wrong. And if you have a piece in your own home that there's technically nothing wrong with it, you just don't like the color, um, maybe, it's, you know, maybe it's really dark wood, or maybe it's a honey oak, whatever it is, and you just don't like it, if you already hate it, you can't ruin it, right? So go ahead and slap some paint on. I give you full permission. And here's another full disclosure thing. Not so long ago, I was not much of a primer. I thought, oh, primer is kind of a waste of time. Who has time to prime? Not trying to be a poet. <laughs> and I tell you what, I have learned my lesson. Oh my goodness. I have painted kitchen cabinets without priming. That did not end well, let me tell you. So when I repaint them, because I will have to repaint them, when I repaint them, I will be priming them. And I might even be priming them twice. I'm just being careful here because my brush is loaded and I don't want to fling it and have paint on my floor. So I'm trying to be careful here. So after this is primed, it will take me maybe seven minutes, and that's if I'm by myself. I can set up my home right spray shelter in about ten or um, seven minutes by myself. Ten minutes if I have a three or four year old helper. What am I missing here? <laughs> Sandy says, I always wear gloves when I paint. You are so good. I'm awful at it, and I'm always the one who spills the entire can or steps into the paint. <laughs> I still love to paint though. Oh, Sandy. Girlfriend, I have spilled entire cans of paint before. I feel your pain. You know, it's funny, I am not a super careful painter all the time. And yet, sometimes the detail work is fun for me. I'm gonna, well, I'll go back here. The detail work is fun. I love to trim out walls on a room. And I, 
secrets, I don't use paint. I'm not paint, I don't use um, tape. I don't use painter's tape to trim out my walls and ceilings. I just feel like I get a better finish with a good brush because I've done the tape before and I feel like every time I go and take the tape off, the line underneath is not as sharp as it would be as if I had just painted it freehand. So, and they have tools, you guys. They have tools that you can dip into your paint and then it runs along like the top of your ceiling or the top of your woodwork. And I did used to use those before I became more confident in my brush skills. And they do work well. The one we had, I can't even remember the brand, but it did work well. And I have to check with Homewright. I am pretty sure that they have a tool that is specifically made for edging. And so that might make your job easier. How am I doing on time? Ooh, got a few minutes. Okay, so as I said at the beginning, I might not get this whole thing done before I have to go get my kids from school. But I bet I'm gonna have half of it done and half of it done is better than none, right? So we have a soccer game this afternoon, but I will come home later, maybe even tomorrow, and I'll finish this. And it'll be primed. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, if time is not on your side, and I get it, life is crazy. Go ahead and just do what you can. Take your 10, 15 minute slots of time, and instead of perusing Pinterest or Facebook, totally guilty, anyone else? <laughs> grab a paintbrush or grab whatever that thing is. Good thing I had a drop cloth down. I just dripped a paint or dripped um, a little drip of paint. And just do what you can with the time that you're given. Because if you just take it off, take little bites at a time, before you know it, you will have the whole thing done. Okay? All right. <laughs> How am I on time? I'm good. I'm gonna go for the other leg. <laughs> All right, girls, what do you think? Am I missing stuff from over there? Yep, there's a little piece right there I missed. And I'm sure I'm missing comments, let me see. <laughs> hey, Linda, looking forward to see, seeing the piece finished. Sandy, me too. Okay, here's another question for you girls. Oh, I wonder if I can turn this. Yes, I can. Here's my question, watch me drip paint on my floor on live. Wouldn't that be great? Okay, if you followed me for long, you know I adore white paint, still do. So I'm debating whether I should paint this white. I have a beautiful um, latex enamel paint that I can use. I'm gonna move this back over here. That would give me a nice hard finish. And this needs to have a nice hard finish because this sits in my living room and I've got four boys. And they like to eat popcorn and drink their drinks and their hot cocoa in the living room. So I need a nice hard finish that's gonna hold up to whatever they're gonna throw at it. So if you guys saw, I think it was, was it last week? Last week or the week before, I painted that gray dresser. And that gray dresser I painted with leftover gray paint from my kitchen floor and that paint is amazing. Even now, because that dresser is actually um, my two little boys, that's theirs up in their room. And that paint is holding up well. And I tell you what, they are hard on that dresser. <laughs> so I'm torn of whether I should paint this, just regular white paint that's got a nice hard finish, or if I should paint it gray. So tell me in the comments, do white or gray? Now to be fair, if you saw my live this morning, you could, in the background, you could see my living room is lots of white. I've got white couches, white walls, but I have a lot of woodwork that breaks up all that white. So tell me in the comments, white or gray, what do you say? Maybe I'll let you guys have a, uh, sorry, that's my alarm telling me I need to go and get my boys here in a few minutes. That's what happens when I don't put my phone on do not disturb. Okay, well look, I have, the outer edge primed, and three out of the four legs primed. That's pretty awesome. In 15 minutes, I have almost the whole piece done. Okay, and I don't know where the phone cut out on me when my alarm went off, but 
but tell me gray or white. And I'm missing comments. I'm sorry, friends. White paint, me too. Chalk paint, yes. Linda, you're right. I do, I like the matte look of chalk paint, but um, I don't feel like it's a great choice for pieces that are gonna get a lot of use. And this one's gonna get a lot of use. I'm gonna push the limits here. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can't get this last leg done before I have to go get my kids from school. So, if you're a person who thinks that you don't have time, is this something you think you could do? If you think there's something, there's a project that you're wanting to do and you realize that you've got 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes before you have to leave the house, do you think you'd be able to pull out your project and just get a few minutes work done? I'm betting you can. I have confidence in you and faith in you that you could get it done. Now this is obviously because life, I have, I've got stuff going on this evening, this afternoon. So this table is probably not gonna get done today. But you guys, I'm gonna have it primed today, which means tomorrow when I have a few minutes to work on it, It will take me no time at all to set up my spray shelter, grab my paint sprayer, load it up with paint because you know that the new sprayer does not need thinned paint. You can literally dump your paint in there and go, which is such a time saver. I love it. So tomorrow when I am ready to paint this piece with whatever color I decide, you guys tell me, white or gray, it will take me... Psh, Including setup time of the spray shelter, it might take me 15 or 20 minutes because that spray shelter goes up really fast. Even by myself, I can get it set up really fast. So furniture pieces, even spindle legs, don't have to be a huge process. And I have to hurry up because I have kids at school that I have to go get, but I just really want to finish this quick. There's always a line in the carpool lane, right? The car line pickup. <laughs> this is also why I wear an apron because I'm a wiper. I grab something or if I have a drip that I snatch with my finger, I wipe it on my clothes, which is really dangerous for my wardrobe. <laughs> I've had more pairs of pants and more shirts turn into painting clothes because I accidentally forgot that I did not have paint or my painting clothes on and use my regular clothes. Okay, we got that done, you guys. 15, okay, maybe 20 minutes. But 20 minutes, I have it done. I'll flip it over when this is all dry. And I'm gonna paint this, because that will be the top when it's flipped over. And I will prime, I mean, I will prime it. Prime this, because this will be the top that you see when it's flipped over. And I'll prime the top, and it'll be ready for paint. I'm so excited. So, okay, if you're watching on replay, still pitch in, tell me white or gray. And I know I'm missing comments, girlfriends. I'm so sorry. Chalk paint, love both colors. A vanity upside down. I'm, ah, Linda, I see a girl. We are together painting this thing on our dining room tables. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, friends, I do for real have to go and get my kids now. It was so fun. I just wanted to pop on here quick. I'm like, why not? Let's show how fast we can get a piece of furniture primed, even if it's got detail. And I might go ahead and prime this just because it's going to bother me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you missed the live this morning, go back. Come join my new Facebook group, uh, Budget Savvy Home. I will leave a link in here. I might have to pop in in a few minutes. I'll leave the link here. Come join us. There's already fantastic conversation and encouragement going on, and I would love to see you there. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, girls.